Hi everybody, I'm Dave and this is Chantal. Chantal will be helping me to uh, teach you a single time swing. So, to start, we're going to start first. Now first thing I have to do in, in all dancing is to, to find your center point. Number one, we have to be balanced all the time when we dance if we want to have any enjoyment or have any good connection uh, between the partners. Here we go. Now, number one, first of all, to create some rhythm here and balance, okay? Everybody bend your knees. Now, don't forget, we're exaggerating a lot of these movements, okay? So if they look a little funny, it's only so you can see them because remember, this, this is called the secrets of uh, excellent dancers. So these are things they're doing, they look so great, and you wonder why they look so great. Well, here are the reasons why. So we'll exaggerate them, and then once you get the uh, overall uh, basic coordination of it, then you can um, uh, refine it as much as you want to. So number one, we have to bend our knees. Boom, okay? Like I said, we're bending a whole lot. Now right here, you want to create a triangle right between your hamstring connected to your calf, and here's the peak of the triangle, just like that. See how low we are? Right there. So that, we're just going to go up and down a little bit. See that? And that's alive. That's breathing. That's how you breathe between you and the floor. We have a little bit of a pulse there, okay? And so our seat goes straight down, straight up. Now don't go back and forth or anything like that. That throws your balance off. So we just go straight up and down, okay? Boom. Next, okay, we have to create this break here in our pelvic area. This is sort of like a snow skier. If you ever watch a snow skier, go down. We keep our back straight, but we angle it forward. So we're going to do it a lot. We're going to angle forward. See that? Our back is straight. Now, that creates another break right here in our pelvic area. That connects our rib cage to our thighs. And here's the peak of the triangle right here at our pelvic. Okay, this is important because this is where most of your feeling comes from, most of your dancing comes from. If you're not doing at least a little bit of that, all you're doing is walking through your patterns. After a while, it gets very, very boring. Okay, so here we go, we're bent and we lean forward. Now we're gonna exaggerate just like that. Now same thing, let's just go up and down. So now you should be able to feel a pulse in your knees and right here, nice break. Okay, and that creates your rhythm. Now also, when we create this break, this break is the one thing that you can lock into. That stays for almost the whole dance unless we do a dip or something like that. It just, just stays locked. Now it does another great thing. When you create this break, it also puts your center, which is your sternum or your chest plate, over your front knee. So if we took a step forward and bent our knees, that center is over the front knee all the time. If we changed feet, bump like that, we would keep that over our front knee. Now, if we're just standing here, it actually feels like the sternum is going right down between the knees. And that's where you want to keep it for your balance. That's your best balance. So, practice that. Feel your angles. Feel, feel, feel your body. Okay, relating to the floor. Now, when we do a jitterbug or a single time swing, we have a little pulse. Oh, there are a lot of misconceptions in dancing. We want to clear up a little bit. Uh, sometimes people do bounce instead of pulse. They get on their toes, and they get all this bounce going on, OK? Not very good dancing, because once you come on your toes, you have very poor balance, OK? And then when you're bouncing, you're monorhythmic. Everything's going up and down at the same time, when actually, to get more enjoyment out of your dancing, parts of your body should be moving at different times. So instead of being on your toes, Here's the correct way to do it. You keep your balance, you keep your weight on the balls of your feet, but you touch your heels to the ground, okay? Don't be up on your toes. So we're flat-footed. There you go, right. Flat-footed, but keep your weight on the balls of your feet so instantly I can pick up my, my heel in an instant. Not a problem, okay? Weight on the balls of your feet, touching the heels to the ground. This keeps you uh, grounded and balanced, okay? So now, we're gonna create the little rhythm for Pulse is good, bounce is bad. What's pulse? Pulse is just if you take a step and you just drop a little bit, take a step, drop, step, drop. That's pulse. Bounce has you going up and down. So we go step, drop, step, drop. So when we take this step, just separate your feet a little bit. Chantal, would you face the camera, please? That's it. I'll do it here. One, two, see that? So we're just shifting our weight from one foot to the other and we're just pulsing. Two, one, drop. The slows have two counts of music. One, two, one, two. And when you come up here, don't lock your knees, okay? So we're going from a bent position to a more bent position. 
Slow drop, bend, bend more, bend, bend more, bend, bend more. That's it. So we don't come up lock because that starts you rocking back and forth. Now you have a, a bad balance. Okay. Do that again. Step, drop, step. Boom. There we go. Nice and easy. Keep your drop in time with the music. Very good. One, two, one, two. Okay. Chantal, would you face me, please? Now, the second element for this is a rock step. On a rock step, this is one place where you can use your ball. Guys are going to go back with their left foot, ladies back with your right, and we're going to change weight like this. Rock, step, rock, step. Right. So this is one of the few times where you only use a ball. And we do that because we're trying to keep our center over our front leg. And even though it's called a rock step, we don't have time to really rock our bodies. It's going too fast. Our feet rock, but our body, our center, stays over our front foot. So if you're flat on the front foot and only hit the ball of the back foot, then you can keep your top still. And there's a lot to be said for keeping still on top. Right now, that's what you want to do a lot of, OK? Up and down. Now, you notice we're also pulsing the knees. There are a lot of different rhythms going on in our body. And the knees, there is a very important one going on. Your knees should be staying in time with the music even more so than your feet. So right here, you notice us lifting. One, two, one, two, one, two. The rock step has one count each, and the knees go up and down. Now, this is very important, especially for swing. Swing is a knee pump dance. Back in the days of the Lindy Hop, okay, the dancers got way down, big angle in their body. Okay? They're, sometimes their spine was almost parallel to the floor. And you saw them kicking their feet up a whole lot, one, a two, one, a two. Now, the reason we did this was to create rhythm in our body. So our rhythm triangle is really working. So what we want you to do is feel that. Now, we're not going to do that much in the jitterbug, but you still want to have some of it to create some feeling. So we're going to lean forward a lot, pick a knee way up into the rib cage, put it down. Up, down, up, down, up. That's it. Feel it go right up into your rib cage. Up, down, up, up, down, up. So that's happening also. One. So we get a nice rhythm here in our pelvic area. One, two. So now when we drop, one, two, ba, the knee can come up a little bit. Two, right. So now we're going down. We have a nice break here. So we have rhythm from our pulse, and we have rhythm from our pelvic pumping our thigh up into our rib cage. Right. Two, like I said, this is exaggerated. But we want you to see it. And then when we actually dance it, you don't see it that much, but it's still there. Good. Now, for the rock step, putting those two together. So now we're going to take, guys are going to step uh, left, ladies are going to step right. Uh, let's see, Chantal, would you do it this way, please? You, why don't you face that way? OK, and I'll face this way. OK, normally we're in front of each other, but we want you to see the rhythm. So now we're going to do the basic step. We're going to go to the guys, uh, the leads left and the, and the ladies right, and we're going to go step, pulse, step, pulse, rock, step. And that's our basic rhythm, our basic timing. Basic pattern, ready to go. Step, pulse, step, pulse, rock, step, step, pulse. You notice we don't pulse on the rock step. We just change weight, one. Step, drop, change weight, one, drop. Step, drop, change weight, one, two. Rock, step, slow, ah, slow. Rock, step, slow, slow, rock, step. If we're doing it here in uh, Jitterbug, we do a lot of single hand hold. Guys, your thumb goes on top very lightly. Ladies, your hand will be, your palm will be towards the ground. Guys, yours is what we call like in a pistol position. Your hand is sideways and it fits very nicely. Thumb on top, no pressure. So here we go. Step, drop, step, drop, rock, step, step, drop, step, drop, rock, step, step. No drop here, just change the knees. Now right here, knee, knee. You'll feel your knees dancing. Two, step, step, drop, knee, and step. Step, rock, step. Now another thing, when we go back, let this hand go out a little bit. Because if we happen to be going back a little bit, we'll yank on each other. So we're exaggerating. We go step, step, out, in. And this is very important. So many times, if you don't think about it, our hands actually suck into our body. When you're not thinking about it, they actually pull in. So if we're both dancing that way, we're pulling on each other, creating a tension. There's never any tension. There's never, remember, there's no tension resistance or stiffness in dancing, ever, every. Even though people do it, it's not a real good way to dance. 
So when we come here, we're going to exaggerate again. One drop. We let this arm go out and in. One, two, out, in. See? Then we don't pull on each other. We keep our center point out, in. As a matter of fact, the reason she's going back is because I'm extending my arm out. So is she. And that's telling us to go away from each other. And then we both bring our arm in, and that pulls us in. We don't yank on each other. We do that very gently. Step, pulse, step, out, in, step, step, out, in. Then we can do a very comfortable rock step. Bum, bum, and there you have your basic step, open position. And the only thing we'd like to add right now is if we do it in closed position. When we're in open, we go straight back. If we get in closed position, we put our arm around her back, just comfortably, somewhere right around in there. And she's going to put her hand on the outside of the shoulder, OK? The outside falling around here. Now, here's another important thing that's happening. When we dance in closed position, everybody go like this. There we go. OK, you see the ballerinas do that because that really helps to balance the human body. So when we dance, it works out real nice because we actually go inside that oval of our partner. So when we're here, we're not really trying to hold on to each other real tight. We're just trying to create this oval around the person that they can dance. Very good. And now we're comfortable. And we also try and keep our elbows very still, contributing to our balance. This hand is here. Now when we go step, pulse, step, we turn out a little bit. OK, so that we don't fly away from the partner. So we go step, step, turn out a little bit, face each other, out a little, face each other, rock and step, pulse, step, pulse, rock, step, step, pulse, step, pulse, rock, step. Very good. OK, so there you have it. You have your, um, uh, your basic rhythm, uh, how to balance, how to create that rhythm, a little bit of connection uh, to the lady. So practice those. And uh, once you get that, uh, we'll come back and move on from there.